So hi, what's up? Bonjour, or something like that. So a couple of days ago I was approached by the developers of uh, Kiri Engine and I'm not going to lie, it gave me a bit of a motivation to finally try to innovate something with uh, Gaussian spatting or at least try to improve my skills with it. So yeah, I went out to the closest park and I recorded the Gaussian splat with Kiri Engine's uh, app. I could just uh, walk around and record the video. The app is available on both iOS and Android and right now I'm using the desktop version which I think is the best if you want to retouch and edit your models. And using post-shot and uh, the post-shot effect I imported this scene into After Effects. Then I could track the footage and position the splat where the opening of the portal was. With the mask applied this is how it looks. After that I tried to create a few variations for the opening of the portal, hole or whatever you want to call that. First of all I just used the mask and uh, I used the saber effect, you know that always works with portals. But I also wanted to try some AI tools. So I took a steel frame of the footage and I dropped it into Photoshop and with Photoshop's uh, generative AI feature I could generate a whole uh, opening that was kinda nice. Then I uploaded it to Luma AI and after like 18 hours of waiting it didn't do that good of a job but it was just barely good enough so I could use it for my video. Using some camera mapping techniques I flattened out the opening of my portal so I could just put it back to the 3D scene into its uh, position and uh, after some color corrections this is how it ended up looking. Honestly I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, let's jump on to the next one. I thought I was gonna animate this statue at Budapest and then used Gaussian spatting as a tool to remove the object. And here in my footage the background is really busy so as you can see it's kind of a difficult scenario to make just a simple object removal as you normally do with some projections in After Effects. So I just simply dropped my base footage into Kiri Engine and it did a pretty good job as you can see. Here I'm editing the statue using Kiri Engine's online editing tools. And then came my biggest problem because I had to align this Gaussian splat with my uh, After Effects camera and camera track and uh, that's where this project kind of failed uh, because this workflow is not yet uh, well developed. So yeah, this is something that I really think would be useful for the future for these uh, Gaussian splatting uh, softwares to just be able to export the camera with a camera path to After Effects so then we could just align our splat with our base footage and. Uh, yeah, I think it would open up a whole lot of possibilities. So of course I could have spent a lot more time on the animation and on the entire effect, but honestly just for this, uh, for the sake of this video, I think it's already looking kind of acceptable, except the animation. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this quick insight into the modern VFX tools, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Peace.